Today is all about shellfish, and probably the most popular is shrimp, right? I'm gonna show you two of my favorite marinades for shrimp. One's a mango habanero, and one's a margarita. Check these shrimp out. They're huge! And they classify shrimp by size. These are 812s. It means that there's eight to 12 in a pound, and these have already been peeled and deveined, and they are ready for a spicy marinade. All right, I think I'll start with the mango habanero. This is a habanero, and it's hot, like really hot. And I like it hot, it's the whole thing. Okay, the rest of this is really simple. Fresh mango, it's nice and sweet. And to add a little bit more flavor, ginger, garlic, cilantro, just rip it in half, right in, and a bit of green onion. Now, it needs some acid, rice wine vinegar. And I use a lot of vinegar. I know it seems crazy what I'm doing right now. I'm just letting it go, letting it go. But the mango's really sweet, it's really spicy, and the vinegar just kind of traps all that, it just lets it hang on for a little bit. Hit it! One more time, you're good to go. I like to get all the air out of the freezer bag, seal it, massage it. You want it on every piece of those shrimp. Perfect, these can chill out the fridge and I'm really excited about the margarita. You can't have a margarita without some tequila. The tequila is pretty intense, so you need to mellow it out with lots of lime. And just to finish it up, a little bit of orange concentrate. It's thick and it's intense. When it marinates on the shrimp, and the shrimp hit the grill, the tequila burns off, you're just gonna be left with this wonderful taste. Just to finish it, I always like to season salt. So this needs a little bit of time to marinate, but not too long. There's a lot of acid in there, and if you let it go too long, especially overnight, the shrimp are gonna go from beautiful, plump, and sweet to kind of rubbery, so only a little while. These are my margarita shrimp. Now, it doesn't look like a lot has changed, but trust me, those things are full of flavor. And this is a really great trick for barbecuing shrimp. I call it the double skewer. It holds everything in place really well, and it makes it really manageable on the barbecue. And I like mine with a little color, so I'm adding bell pepper and some spicy jalapeno. So just a few things to get these things ready for the grill. I put a little bit of olive oil on it, and I didn't season the shrimp at the beginning because there's a ton of acid in there. So right before you go on the grill, salt. Perfect. All right, mango habanero. Wow, look at that marinade. The habanero's hot, so just salt and oil. Nice high heat to start these ones out, and a little oil on the grill, make sure that the shrimp won't stick. That's a great sound. Great, great, great sound. Shrimp are great. You can tell that they're cooked because the tails start to change color. The bottom half is pink. And when you see that, it's time for a flip. Look at that. That is packed with flavor. Whoo! When they open up like that, the middle should not have any blue hue to it. It should be nice and white and the outsides nice and pink. I'm all about a few finishing touches hot off the grill. So lime for both, 
and a little bit of cilantro, but just on the habanero mango. Now let's compare. I'm going habanero mango first. <laughs> yeah, that is unbelievably good. It's like hauntingly spicy from the habanero, but it's fresh and sweet from the mango. It's meaty, but it's tender. Okay, now for the margarita. Yes! The only thing different is the flavor. It's way different from the mango habanero. The tequila, once it cooks, it kind of mellows out, but it's full of citrus, and the or you can't make it without the orange. You really can't. Man, I'm in shellfish heaven.